Was gay, son. Damn. All right. Uh, the fuck? Oh shit! Yes. Fuck yeah! My hyper dunks. Oh fuck! 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 Yes! 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 Mom. Oh yes! 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 Yes, yes, yes. Oh, fuck it, fuck it. All right, yes. Finally got my Piper Dunk 2012. Fuck yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's test these fucking babies out, my nigga. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Yes. Oh, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Alright, alright. How do you open this? Come on. Alright, you got these hyper dogs. Let's see what Nike can do. Yes, yes. Ah, seems weird. Come on, it. Maybe, 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 maybe. Even this thing smells good. Yes. I have my return thingy. Now let's open the box to see what kind of stuff. Nike Hyper Dunks 2012 has. Alright, so I was kidding. This isn't the Nike Hyperdunks 12. You are mad, aren't you? Alright, these are Nike Air Max Hyped. Let's see. Can you focus that? Uh, can you see it? You better. 10.5. That's my size. Um, in case if anyone wants to give me a gift, 10.5. Nike Air Max Hyped. Alright. So, I bought these shoes mainly because I need new ones. Well, let me let me be the cameraman here, so that you get a bird's eye view, or well, whatever. What up? Well, you see, got them in red, and they are in this very nice Nike particular paper. Let me place these very softly. And unlace these other ones. Even the Nike box itself is just amazing. I mean, what more can Nike do? I mean, you have these crevices and creases and everything. I mean, they, they just add to the boxes um, and shoes um, price and explains why these shoes are $50. So, the shoes. What I learned about them before I got them is that they have the Air Max technology to absorb impact when you wanna, you know, run and um, take steps and uh, other stuff that happens when you're running. Uh, it does not have flywire. Uh, I don't know. I don't know exactly what flywire does, but um, it doesn't have it. You see the finish, it's very glossy. I don't know how it'll look like over time, but I hope it does look good. As the Nike in the back, so everyone knows what you're wearing. Now let's go to the main part of the shoe, which mostly um, 
most people pay attention to is the bottom of a shoe traction alright so you have the pivot put right here pivot point whatever right there and you got lateral thingies so for support when you want to you know slide across the floor and um you have the nice rubber zigzag thingies that help when you're on indoor courts you have the mid sole part of the shoe which is very tiny as you can see it doesn't I haven't seen shoes with this type of tiny midsole but um uh, let's see um you have this little y on the bottom of the shoe and um isn't that amazing all right so you have the tongue of the shoe and you have your laces that are very um white and they look nice except for this stupid little stain that Nike just failed to take out and it looks bad but um, other than that it looks like a nice shoe I mean I did some research and I had switched from Hirachi's the 2009 versions and those served me well they served me a good three or two years um oh yeah I forgot to talk about the insole and so isn't very um, impressive All right uh, you see that it says basketball at the bottom of the shoe it has the cushion on each side of the shoe to for comfort and you see it is a high top shoe so to add that ankle support and, um, um, yeah this is pretty much a show shoe and I need them for basketball they're very glossy and I like the way it looks. So, um, thanks. These are the Nike Hyperdunk uh, 2012. I mean, um, um, Nike Air Max Height. Thank you for joining, joining me on this. What is it today? Um, December 1st. Um, nice little, um, shoe review. Um, uh, yeah, you better, uh, buy your shoes now and, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's all. Yeah.